Hey guys, Mike Bills, welcome back. In a previous video, we built this very powerful 12 volt solar power system. We put the whole system together, showed the entire build process, used mid-level components, and we have a really awesome system here. So today we're actually gonna use it to power a mini split. The mini split is inside my garage. I've let this thing recharge all day, so it's completely full. As you guys can see by the Vader battery app, and now I wanna be able to use the power for something. So as a test, we're gonna see how long we can run the mini split. All right, so here we are in my garage. It's very messy. Currently is 85 degrees in here and 62% humidity. So we're gonna go ahead and kick it on. That's it, we have it on cool. And I'm just gonna let this thing run. We're gonna go back in the house. Once this thing starts to ramp up, we're gonna see exactly how much power we're using. All right, here we are at the outdoor unit and it is in fact running. Compressor and fan are both running. I went ahead and opened the Victron Smart Shunt app. It looks like we're using about 800 watts and it's slowly ramping up a little bit. So I'm gonna let that stabilize for a little bit and then we're gonna check back here in a bit and see what it's at. Then we're gonna be able to kind of get an idea how long this will actually run that system. And remember, this is only on one 12 volt, 300 amp hour battery. And right now, if we check the time, it is 5.59. We are at 100% state of charge, like we said before. And the counter here says it should last almost six hours. So we're gonna let the test run for a little while. It looks like the amper just kind of stabilized. As you can see, only pulling 820 watts, we're already at 62 amps on the DC side. But yeah, we're gonna let this thing run, see what it does. And personally for 12 volt systems, I don't like to run more than over a thousand watts, specifically because once you get to over a thousand watts, you're gonna be pulling 80 to uh, 90 amps. Anything more than that, I feel like you need to have really good connections and really good wiring. And generally, I think it's better to go to a higher voltage system to lower the amperage. All right, let's see if we're getting some cold out of this. Oh yeah, that's nice and cold. And I did go ahead and increase the fan speed. We're at about half fan speed. So let's go see what we're pulling on the unit now. And on the battery's BMS, it shows 1100 watts. And just about the same thing on the Smart Shunt app as well. It says we'll get about three and a half hours out of that. Pretty interesting. It's also a good stress test of the inverter. We're about halfway maxed out on the inverter. It's been slightly over an hour. We've had this thing running the AC. Inverter fan just kicked on, of course, now that I wanted to record. Let's see how much battery we've used in in one hour of cooling. About 32%. The Victron Smart Shut says 66%. So it did use quite a bit of battery, but do keep in mind we have zero solar going into this. If we had enough solar to offset what we were using, the battery would technically stay charged, but it'll kind of give you an idea of what you can run. I mean, if you can run an entire AC unit for a few hours on one battery, on a compact setup like this, you're doing pretty good. So we're gonna let the test keep running and see what it ends up at. The temp update in the garage, it feels actually really nice in here. So the humidity is down to 50% and we're at 81.4 degrees Fahrenheit. It feels much better in here. I'm actually gonna kick the fan down one level so it's on level two. And there we go, it'll use a little bit less power. But now that we've got the air kind of cooled down a little bit. And just changing the fan speed one bar lower, it actually did lower the draw. So instead of over a thousand watts, we're closer to 750. And that's the awesome, that's the really awesome thing about mini splits being their inverters. You can kind of ramp up or ramp down the cooling. So in theory, if you can make it cool using as least amount of power as possible, that, that is how you would get the best runtime out of your system for the power you have available. As I'm in this little experiment right here, the current time is 757. So we ran this for close to two hours and we have 50% battery left. We're using 727 watts. So running this thing two hours is Use about half the power, not too shabby. And it's 80 degrees, 49% humidity. It feels awesome in here. So that was a huge success with that. I will say the fans are kind of annoying on this Harbor Freight inverter. They kick on, I believe, temperature wise because they cycle on and off independent of what load you put on it. They run until the unit cools off and they just shut off. There's no ramping of the fans or anything, but that is very common with cheaper inverters. But that's really it guys. Hopefully y'all have an idea of the type of loads and how long you can run your loads based off of this. This is kind of an extreme test. If you're running a lot smaller things, which I would be doing with a unit like this, you'd get tons and tons of runtime. Also keep in mind, like I said before, if you put solar coming into this, you'd be able to prolong the running of the AC unit, no problem. But that's really it guys. Let me know what you guys think about the setup in the comments. Thank y'all so much for the ones who watched the build video. I got a lot of good comments from that. Appreciate you guys very much. Let me know what other tests you guys wanna see me do with this unit. And until then, I'll see y'all next time.